the video begins with a very poignant question. Do you believe in God? It's interesting because, you know, I've seen many people ask that question. I've been asked that question myself, and the answer always seems to be very decisive in one direction or the other. Yeah. It's often either, no, I most certainly do not believe in God, mm -hmm. or yes, I absolutely definitely believe in God, or even if we're talking about the middle of the road and, well, I don't know whether or not I do believe in God. I don't know whether or not God exists. That's still sort of, there's clarity in the ambiguity. It's mm -hmm. like, I'm very clear on the fact yeah. that I, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. So you have, you have clarity. What really stood out to me about Jordan Peterson's answer is that he said none of these. Yeah. His response was to the question, do you believe in God? Jordan Peterson's response was, I don't like that question. I don't like that question. Mm -hmm. So if you were to hear someone respond to this question with the answer, I don't like that question, what do you think they might be getting at? What, what's coming to the surface there as far as a thought? Well, it's quite obvious as you've already made clear that Jordan Pearson, whether he considers himself a Christian, whether he is uh, on route to becoming a Christian, mm -hmm. whether he, uh, we're not here to decide that for him. Right. Well, we are acknowledging that he's a cultural leader yeah. and that he has a following and that he represents a pretty large uh, cohort of people in our country and around the world. So when he says, I don't like that question, first of all, I want to say, well, that seems to me to be an honest response. Right. At least that much you can trust in his honesty. Yeah. Very genuine, very authentic. Yes. And secondly, I want to say, uh, I'm really not all that surprised because God oftentimes, when he deals with us, does so in a manner that sort of um, um, uh, pokes at our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wakes up, yeah. you know, our conscience and stirs us to action. And... When a person is uh, not prepared maybe to cross completely over into a complete surrender, it's uncomfortable. Right. Change. Change. Change is uncomfortable yeah. for all of us. It is. Um, if I were to ask you to change something you're, uh, you're, you're habituated to or I change something that's pr something that I'm used to, it creates a, an element of discomfort. Right. Um, so I would say... You know, I'm hoping that it's the beginning hmm. of a spiritual shift in him and perhaps an indicator that society is getting a little tired of this idea that they can live a full and happy existence right. without God. 